If you love the Cezanne aesthetic, you will definitely love these other 10 French brands. So let's talk about them in this video. I'm going to show them all to you. These are brands that I've known during my life in France. They are brands that deliver outside of France as well and that I personally buy from. So let's talk about them. All right, so the first brand I'm going to talk to you about is Marge is an expensive brand. So it's slightly more expensive than Cezanne. It has a Parisian woman aesthetic, very confident, chic, qualitative and wealthy. It has a lot of elevated basics in their catalog and some feminine dresses with timeless cuts. They're very strong in them. In terms of sizing, it doesn't really go bigger than size 42 French. So let's not pretend that it's an inclusive brand, to be honest. It's also the reality for most French brands. So that's also, I think, the reason why a lot of people turn to Cezanne because they are way more inclusive than other French brands. But anyway, going back to Maj, um, the textiles are a hit and miss depending on the season. In summer, they have a lot of polyester and viscose. Probably, I think summer is probably the season where you would have, it's normal to have more polyester because these are pieces that are washed more frequently than others in other seasons because we sweat more just simply because of that. So they really have to... Um, withstand a test of multiple washes. But in winter, they also have a lot of wool, a lot of real fur. So they really they really have great coats. I have a coat for it from them and it is amazing, to be honest. They also sell very fashionable bags. Now, the second brand I wanna to talk to you about is Sandro or Sandro. This is also an expensive brand. It's part of the same group as Maj and, and it has a sophisticated and timeless designs. They are good on wool and on coats in terms of textiles, but there are also a lot of pieces with synthetics. Overall, the cuts are really good, which is probably also a reason why you would go for a brand that still sells synthetics, even though they're very expensive, but they're not inclusive in sizes. Bash is another brand that I really love the aesthetic of. It is slightly more expensive than Cezanne. Once again, same, same group, I believe. It has a French cosmopolitan with bohemian infusion designs, and it has overall better textiles than the previous two brands, but it also has a lot of synthetics. And I think this is because it has a lot of pieces that need to be flowy. Sizing is definitely not inclusive, unfortunately. As I said, this is a problem all throughout French brands. The fourth brand I want to talk to you about is the Coupoles. Um, now, this is, once again, uh, more on the expensive side. It has a feminine with rock influences design, and it's very Parisian to its core. Textiles vary, but they use a lot of synthetics and dresses because of the flowiness. But, but you know, 300 euros a dress for polyester, it hurts. <laughs> so it's definitely something that I would probably go towards only on sales. Sizing is definitely not inclusive. Now we can talk about Ecode or IKKS. This is more mid-high to expensive brand. Well, actually there are two brands. So IKKS is more expensive and very Parisian in the design. And Ecode is more classic in the design, more timeless and more family centric or effortless everyday kind of designs. Ecode is slightly less inclusive in size and tends to have smaller sizing, I think, I believe, based on what I have actually. But nevertheless, really nice brands that I've always turned to in my life in France. And now let's talk about something mid-range. So let's decrease the budget, right? Cyrilus is more classic and chic. And, and just like IKKS, it offers a range that is not only for women, but also for men and for kids. So really family-centric kind of brand. It is very durable, although it mixes synthetics and natural fibers. But I believe this is also the reason why it is very durable. It is very strong on knits and it has good sizing. I would say it has decent sizing, to be honest. Okay, 
Brand number seven is Petite Mandigot. This is an expensive brand. It's very Parisian woman aesthetic with some trendy influences in the limited editions or web exclusives. I love their aesthetics. Its sizing goes up to 44, so it's a little bit more inclusive than other brands that I cited in this video. And the textiles are a mix of natural and synthetics. They are good on bags as well, so they have a very good leather bags department, so to say. I don't own anything from Petite Mondigot yet, but yeah, I definitely want to. <laughs> Let's talk about something more affordable, more, more mid-range slash affordable. And let's talk about Naf Naf is a brand that has accompanied me through the years. It is very feminine on the very feminine size of the Parisian chic aesthetic. And the textiles, I would say they are appropriate for the prices. This is not a brand where you would find all natural fibers, of course, but also you don't find the same prices. So it goes with it, right? The designs are very trend based, but they're great for classics like pants, coats, and leather jackets that really would stand the test of time. Brand number nine is Boutique Liberty. Um, this is an affordable to mid-range brand. It has, in terms of textiles, a lot of synthetics, but as I said, it's very affordable, so that is to be expected. It follows design a lot, so you will really find a lot of things that remind you of Cezanne. But of course, the quality isn't the same and the sizing is also not inclusive. But they are really strong and flowy dresses. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on polyester Cezanne dresses and you fit certain sizes, then you definitely want to go for Boutique Liberty because you will find your joy there. And the last brand I want to talk to you about is Morgan Dutois. It's an affordable to mid-range brand once again, and the textiles are mostly synthetic, but it has a French chic designs with sexy details, and they're very strong in dresses with geometric designs or floral designs. So if you want something a little bit sexier, especially for tops, I would say, this is where I buy the tops that I want to go out clubbing for because you know those are pieces that they don't have like an excellent quality but they're still durable and if I mess them up <laughs> clubbing then I wouldn't regret it and it still looks really fashionable and a little bit sexier and also I would believe some pants if you want to go more sexier on the sexier size you would definitely go for this brand yeah, so I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thumbs up this video. Watch this playlist next if you're interested and see you in the next one.